Namaste, Grand Rising Fire Signs. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next 48 hours. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, make your wave. Let's dive in. The planetary energies are as you kick your way into the next 48 hours. The Skaldagras moon has entered, to, entered Pisces, darling dear. The 12th house of endings, darling dears, of karma. Mm -hmm. And it's the house of what your old age. Some of you are thinking about your old age, darling dears. Getting your what? Your shit's not eating together. Get your shit together, big cat. Yes, 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 yes. This is also about what tapping into your spirituality. Needing more time to be alone, darling, just so you can think and listen to the most high. Mm -hmm. The 12th house, darling, dears, is ruled by Neptune. Neptune is, is the planet of of arm, your psychic abilities. It's also about your mystical capacity, darling, dear. It's about to expand in a big way. Mm -hmm. As the Pisces, as the moon enters Pisces, darling dears, it's, to, it's, it's inspiring you to what tap into your creativities and what express in yourself more. It's a fabulous time to explore your dreams and your goals. Embrace and embrace new opportunities. Fist bump. Let's dive in, darling dears, and get your rune stone for the next 48 hours. You've got swallow, sun energy. You're in your element. This is big cat Leo energy, darling dears. In the upright, I might add, represented by the letter S and the number 76, 77, 78, and 79. It speaks about honor as well as success. Victory is your go-to move over the next 48 hours. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about a healing of your inner child, darling dears. And... Something about music, somebody gets healing through music. Be careful of what you listen to, darling dear. Not all music is good for you. Remember the vibration of it all, darling dears, and it taps into your subconscious. Mm -hmm. This is why they say the music industry is run by the devil himself. Anyhow, let's press on. It speaks about your self-esteem being extremely high. Realizing that in order to be the golden child, you must appoint yourself to said position, darling dear. Realizing your worth and adding tax. Love it. Mm -hmm. For some, congratulations. You're going to realize that you are carrying a baby. Mm -hmm. For others, he he ha ha. Make sure you breathe correctly, darling dear, because that child, it's coming today. Not tomorrow, not next week, today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it could also be, be the birth of a new idea, a new way of thinking. It speaks about being enlightened, darling dear. Mm -hmm. It's also um, represented uh, by your backbone. Somebody needs to get a backbone, darling dears, realizing that this is your transformation season. And for some, you need to, ha need to have what? A health checkup, darling dears. Go for that health checkup. Mm -hmm. For others, you'll be planning a vacay over the next 48 hours, darling dears, to sunnier climates. Yeah, send me a postcard. Yeah. <laughs> I feel inclined to take a domino. What else is a foot? Thank you. You have a nine, darling dear. Hermit energy, big cat. What Virgo energy, darling dears? Virgo is ruled by Mercury. So this is about you having a rational mind. It also speaks about you applying your intellect, your intelligence, into every situation, darling dears. Mm hmm. It's also about transformation, darling dear, or transp transportation. Maybe somebody's getting a new vehicle or they need to get their vehicle fixed. Well, or maybe you're taking your car in for an MOT. Whatever it is, darling dear, it must be done today. Mercury is also what? The master or the coverer of what short journeys? Mm -hmm. It is also the house that covers what? Neighbors and siblings, darling dears. Somebody don't like the fact that you've got the flight in your tail, darling dears. That you're the happiness expert. Oh well, leave the dull-eyed ones where they are. Don't allow them to what? Get you into any argument. Take you off your gangster, your flip-flop, darling dear, of common sense. Isolate yourself from the foolish ones. Folio, leave Folio alone. The energy of the six 
is um the energy of the six is Gemini energy and Gemini again is ruled by Mercury but you also have a three here Empress energy this is about knowing your worth and adding tax it also speaks about abundance style India being nurturing and again it's about the mother energy we have what new life coming in I told you someone is pregnant and someone is giving them giving birth today darling you weren't expecting it yeah the pregnancy or the birth to come through today but it's coming darling dear no one can stop a baby when it's ready to come out darling dear it also speaks about what the comfort zone leaving the comfort zone darling dear why because you've got plans within plans some of you are also planning to buy a new home do it in silence darling don't say anything till you've got the keys in your hand it's about being strong darling dears mm -hmm. Knowing your worth, as I said before, and adding tax, 1,000% of tax. Nurturing unto yourself as well as those around you. Somebody sees you as their comfort zone, darling dear. Maybe it's someone that needs to be, what, sent off to hockey sticks at dawn. Send them back to the rocks of life. This is somebody who is not on the same level socially, um, socially, mentally, mm -hmm, financially, all of the leads, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The hermit energy also speaks about what? Someone who is what? A single parent, darling dear. Well, yeah, or about to be a single parent. Sometimes it's better to have one good parent than two what? Crack on crazy ones. Basura, you must leave them where they are. Mm -hmm. Let's carry on, darling dears. Let's carry on. What does your ancestors think about what's going on? I'm going to use this deck. I believe it's the Chakra Oracle Wisdom deck. Good golly and gosh, I don't know, can't remember. Do you know this deck? Please put the name in the comments, please. Ancestral message for my big cat fire signs for the next 48 hours. Thank you. We've got the crown chakra and it's on a four and a three, a seven, darling dear. We are in 2023. It's a seven, darling dear. Seven is a highly spiritual number. It's also what? Telling you to analyze a situation in order to get a better understanding of it. It's also reminding you, you must seek knowledge at every turn, darling dear. Why? Because knowledge is power and power is power and power is knowledge, darling dear. It also speaks about you being a bit more introspective over the next 48 hours. Mm -hmm. It's also speaking about the crown chakra. The crown chakra is represented by Archangel Ariel. Call, call them at any time, darling dear, for wisdom, guidance and protection. It also speaks about the God source. You're about to get some kind of spiritual download. Be prepared for incoming. We've already seen the hermit, darling dear. This is spiritual guidance. Mm -hmm. The crown chakra also represents Sunday. So Sunday is significant to someone. Something's going to happen on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. The um, crown chakra also represents the south, darling dear. Maybe you live in the south or somebody who's what? Moving from their south. No, darling dear. What? Freeing themselves from a karmic past. Also what? Healing your ancestors' karma. It also speaks about what? Breaking dysfunctional patterns, patterns, generational curses. You're up for it, mate. And you've got the sun, the energy, vitality and willpower to carve out a new way for you. So many messages. What golly and gosh. The crown chakra is also represented by um, Jupiter energy, darling dear. Mm -hmm. And Jupiter is the ruler of what? Sagittarius, darling dears. And it also, uh, Jupiter takes about a year to move through each zodiac sign, darling dears. So something, ha something happened a year ago or something in your life has taken a year to come to fruition or will take a year to come to fruition. That's a message for someone. Face of the deck, darling dear. All of this lovely purple. Good golly and gosh. When we see the purple being banded around, darling dear, it speaks about you what? Keeping your dignity in every situation. Don't allow anyone to draw you out. They're a dummy bat going nowhere. Leave them alone. Leave Folio alone to do what they've got to do, darling dear. Mm -hmm. The purple speaks of wisdom, darling dear. Wisdom is for the wise. Remember I told you that. It says ideas ideas sparks and conception as well as impulse be careful impulsive baby behaviors over the next 48 hours i nearly said baby 
Freudian slip meant to come out. A baby is about to be born, darling dear. But it's going to be a situation where you will find yourself solo dolo, like the girls or boys on the pole. The four and the six goes to a ten, so it's the ending of a cycle, right? Something's over, darling dear, completion, but it's going to be the renewal of you. Mm -hmm. Ten, ten means you start again, big cat. Fist bump. Let's get some cards, some tarot to see what else is going on. I'm going to use my original right away deck. Give it a good shufti. Energies for my, oh, for my big cat fire signs for the next 48 hours. Messages. We've got the high priestess. Oh, earth angel you be, darling dear. It also speaks about patience. Patience is a virtue. The, the Four of Pentacles is the securing of a new home, a new job, something tangible. Pentacles is about tangible. Mm -hmm. It says that you've been on a difficult journey, darling dear, but Divine wants you to what? Trust the process. It's about the journey, darling dears, not the destination. It also speaks about secrets, keeping your own counsel over the next 48 hours, putting it on lockdown, darling dears. Temperance also speaks about patience. Some of you have been saving for some time, darling dear, and you're about to acquire something significant, something major, making a major purchase over the next 48 hours. We saw a vacation, we've seen a holiday. A vacation, a holiday, we've also seen a home. And in some cases, Pentacle is, is about your mental health. Maybe you'll be securing your mental health because you sit between the two pillars of wisdom, Boaz and Jashin. For what? Completion of one cycle in order for a new one to begin. One more fitting to you, right? Yeah. Leaving behind what? Folio. Somebody who was a page in your life, darling dears. This person was a pretender to your throne. This is somebody that what? They ate off of your table but brought nothing to the table. This could also represent a progeny, darling dears. And in the reverse, this child, there's a child definitely about to be born or you have a progeny in a situation, darling dear. Some of you are going to have to be using your intuition on your progeny and your discernment because they're lying like a rug, baby. They're trying to what? Bend the matrix and tell you what they want. Question them, darling dears. And let me tell you a psychological fact. When somebody tells you something and your intuition and your discernment tells you that they're a lying mother foe, they're an airbender, continue to stare into their eyes, darling dears, and say nothing. A liar will always what? Keep talking. Until they end up telling on themselves. Mm -hmm. This is also about managing your time. Balancing out your time as well as your finances. Somebody was saving for some time and it was a wise decision, darling dear. We also got the Ten of Swords on its face. Oh, and the Devil card. Yeah. This also speaks about moving away from somebody who was extremely controlling, addictive behaviour. I told you, someone is about to be a single parent. Choosing to be a single parent. Because if you stay in that other person's hemisphere your child is going to be what distorted you don't want that darling dears choose your progeny and yourself we already saw big cat empress energy darling dear on the six a partnership lovers darling dear you thought it was a right partnership but he was working with the devil's strongest worker this also speaks about someone or someone still being obsessively jealous this person is what banding your name around in them streets darling dear they've got you on the hot coals and it also speaks about what Somebody was, somebody is injecting themselves, darling dear, with their um, addictions. This is somebody that you need to let go, darling dear, because they will bring you down. They will break everything down. If they're that far gone, leave them where they are. It's not your problem, darling dear. Drop it. Be what? Be like a, be like um, the wind floating through this situation, releasing all of what? Control to a situation that is not on your spiritual pay grade. Mm hmm. What's this? I've just got a message. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. It was a message from my daughter's school and I had to pay attention immediately. Mm -hmm. Somebody you mustn't argue or fight with, darling dear, because as I said, they're not right in their cranium. They're obsessively jealous. And you've only just got out of what? The control, the binding. It could also be a trauma bond that you're releasing yourself from, darling dear. Divine doesn't want you to be on that knife's edge anymore. What is the Pentacles about? You're about to get some kind of an offer. The Knight of Cups is also representing next to the Devil card in the reverse. You've got a lying liar that's going to what? Offer up more lies and cognitive dissonance to you, right? Because they see you stable and secure. Bebe. 
This person wants you to be vulnerable, darling, dears. This is about you learning to stand your ground because this person is a lying liar. They've got no spiritual protection, darling, dear. And this person will take all of your business on the road. They're toxic to the core. Good God! Pay attention. That is a message for someone. Someone is trying to charm you out of your pantaloon or sweep you off your feet with fucking ease, blood. Be on the alert, big cat. What does the high priestess mean? These secrets. You've got a miracle coming towards you, darling, dear. But divine wants you to continue to pour away what no longer serves you. What fickle in and out people, darling, dear. Possibly a dick dealer, an animal in a kit, no Cuban heel. A child is born from that situation. Good golly and gosh. This person is trapped in their cranium about you. Personal people. People that wasn't your true strength, darling, dear. This also speaks about a gossip monger. Or somebody who's a lying liar. You're going to have to make a head over heart decision. And this goes to a 10, darling, dear. Release yourself mentally from a situation that no longer serves you. Mm -hmm. What about this page of pentacles on its face? This is also speaking of a lack of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're looking for a job. Maybe you're looking for a way out of a situation. Maybe you feel as though you haven't got the money to release yourself from a situation. Look at this. You're about to get pennies from heaven. And it also speaks about loyalty. And the Ten of Pentacles is what? Releasing yourself from a generational curse. You was, listen, time for you to make the right investments, darling dears. Because you will surely reap what you sow. Your money is looking good over the next 48 hours. If you've been having monetary issues, all of these Pentacles is again speaking about be more practical because divine is about to gift you with what support as well as stability darling dears because you've been in an unjust situation mm -hmm. what's this cup of love multiple streams of income darling dear but somebody's confused in how to what maybe you're trying to what get into the multiple streams of income you're you're stuck in your cranium darling dear it's like going around you, you go to your north node darling dear get your birth natal chart your snapshot of your akashic records I told you, world card, and you're being spied on by somebody, right, who really wounded you. But you're over that situation. But if you involve yourself with that person again, you're telling the universe that you want to share in that karma. They were toxic, darling, dear, and a drain on your finances, as well as your mentality, darling, dear. Your mental health is your wealth. This was not a good partnership. It's also what someone leaving a, a, a position, a job, darling, dear, could be a home. Because there, this this home is this this house is not a home, darling dear. Leaving a partnership behind could be the ending of a marriage. I told you somebody's going to be solo dolo, queen of cups. What did I say? Nurturing, darling dear. But you also have the queen of wands. This speaks about plan, plotting, and strategizing, and what taking action, darling dear. Listening to your intuition and your discernment. And again, wands is spirituality. Go for your birth natal chart, darling dear. Look at your north node behind it again. Releasing yourself from situations that no longer serve you, that are no longer on your spirit, spiritual pay grade. They never were. What's this? Because you are about to head into a season of victory, darling dears. What was done to you in the dark, or what they did to you in the dark, darling dear, you're about to be blessed in their face. Look, success. Moving forward at a hot trot. Something is coming towards you quickly. Split the deck. A reason to celebrate. Mm. Lots of messages, darling dears. Lots of messages. Take what resonates and forgot about the rest. Mm -hmm. Let's get some final messages. Because there was a lot of wickedness in that read. We'll get the deck of the wicked and see what's... Let's get some more intel on that. Oh, my hands look like they're big, but it's not. It's all fingers and no palm. Well, it's all palms and no fingers. It looks like I've got long fingers. I haven't. I haven't. Right. Tell us what else is going on for the big cat fire signs. Right. Oh, you was the right package at the wrong address, right? Why aren't you? They wanna, they're gonna wanna know why you ain't missing them. Why you don't? You're not missing them because you love your hairline. Raise your hand after me, big cat. My hairline comes first. This is what you must say. Trying to manifest you back. Don't go back to this time traveling. What ear hustler, darling dears? It will be the whispering of Hannibal Lecter's. If they crossed you and you're in a situation where you have to raise the progeny by yourself. Leave it where it is. If it's a friendship, a marriage or a partnership, you're dealing with the devil's most diligent worker who has what? Lots of addictions. They are bound and you've already unbound yourself. Why would you want to go back to a situation and interrupt your space and time continuing to be with a bottom feeding tree sloth? Right? They was betrayed by their ego, which is not their amigo. That's their business. On that note, I dropped me mic. 
Todd love to my Teesprings, Todd love to my Patreon, or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, big cat wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. <laughs>